Well, seven years is a long time. It, strange as it may sound, the 31st century is actually not that different from today. What, better smartphones? What's a phone? What's a phone? Oh, the future's awesome. Well, technology is developed beyond imagining. But at the end of the day, it's still in service of, of communicating with each other and entertaining each other and also killing each other. In this day or in a thousand years, conflict is constant, but so is strength. And, and that's where we come in. So what are you, um, soldiers? The governments were overwhelmed by violence, by chaos. Monel organized us and we banded together to help Earth's leaders keep the peace at home and in the stars. We call ourselves the Legion, and we exist because of you. And because of me? Mm. You inspired me. So when I founded the Legion, I chose to use you as an example of what we could be, of what we aspire to be. When I learned about your life and work, and your compassionate fight for justice, and your devotion to protecting others, everything just crystallized. Your example gave my life purpose. I can't express how much it means for me to meet you in person. What is good YouTube, Washu here with a video on Supergirl Season 3. Now I know what you're thinking, Supergirl isn't back for 8 weeks, I think it comes back in April maybe, don't quote me if I'm right, but it comes back in 8 weeks. So we were left on that cliffhanger that Saturn Girl and Brainy came back on a secret mission. But what is that secret mission that mon doesn't know about? It's going to be very interesting to find out what that secret mission is actually about. Because if you go back and re-watch that episode 9, where Saturn Girl and Monel are talking about what happened in the future, how they got back, um, that they were trying to take out the darkness. And you look at her body language, her eyes, she's moving away. She literally told us with her body language that she was lying and that we, we should have all seen it then. Some of us did see it then. Very interesting. She is a very good actor. If you go back, rewatch the clip, I'm going to play it before this video starts. Very good clip. So we have got some world, we've got a world exclusive, well, not a world exclusive. But the spoiler kind of Twitter handler that has been posting a lot of correct information is back at it posting stuff. But it did delete the stuff, so I can't actually bring it up. But basically what's going on is around episode 16, 17, 18. Well, episode 17, 18. Well, it says 17 that uh, Saturn Girl and Brainiac 5 are going to go back to the future with mon -El, or without mon -El, where it's saying that mon -El is going to stay stay in Earth 38 in the current timeline. But what's interesting is if Monel and Imra actually break up, this kind of political marriage that they have won't be forged back seven years in the future and this alliance will come tumbling down. So in theory, it could actually create um, whoever it is in the future to come back seven years and take out Kara because Kara would be the actual reason. So in recent images that came up yesterday from North Hollywood Buzz, their handle is YVR Shoots on Twitter, it appears that Amy Jackson and Melissa Benoist got on a massive argument and they stormed off set. Well, at least that's how some people report on it. So basically, there's going to be a massive argument between these two people. Most likely, it's going to be about Monel staying or Monel going. But what is actually interesting is they said that they couldn't fight Rain to start off with because their DNA is forged. Their DNA is vital for the existence for their basic existence for the world to kind of exist. Their DNA is that important that they couldn't get involved. Then they could get involved. So if Monel doesn't actually go back to the future with his wife then it's going to be like a massive plot hole so this argument could be about that but i'm thinking most likely that this argument is going to do with the third world killer pestilence so pestilence if you look it up is basically to do with a plague so i'm presuming it's going to have something to do with uh pestilence power is most likely going to be the most powerful one except for rain i think so it's going to be interesting to see where supergirl is going so let me know guys let me know guys in the comment box down below what is this argument about that has caused a worldwide frenzy on twitter youtube instagram i'm seeing it absolutely everywhere i didn't want to include this argument in my video because it seems a bit petulant and seems a little bit minor but if a whole episode 17 is going to be based around two 
people getting in an argument in front of a hotel, then I don't know what's going to happen. It's very, very interesting, guys. So let me know. It, it's just a bit odd. It really is a bit odd that Monel, I mean, he's going out. So obviously, Chris Wood and Melissa Benoist are going out in real life. So do you really think that Monel is going to leave the show whilst they are going out in real life and living together? No. But I think it would be more interesting if Monel went to the future with him and we got to see some future Ristic episodes. So we got to see a handful of episodes in the future. That would be interesting. I mean, originally, I did think that Kara was going to go to the future to try and help out, but that does seem quite redundant. So we do know that Saturn Girl will reappear towards the end of the season because I think... If she, if the secret mission is to do with Imra's sister, um, and maybe Imra's sister being the third world killer, or maybe she's the world killer, we don't know, guys. No, I, I really don't think it's going to be that. But if it is to do with Imra's sister, why they came back in time, that possibly she could have died in the future and they're going to come back to save her. That sounds ridiculous, seeing as we all know what Barry Allen taught us, that if you mess with the timeline, everything will concurrently mess up in the future and it will make things worse than they originally started. So guys, let me know in the comment box down below, what do you think this argument is about? Do you think Caramel, I mean Carmella, is going to get back together do you think mon is going to stay in the current timeline don't worry guys i got you i'm going to keep you up to date with all the latest and greatest supergirl news theories and videos until the tv show comes back at the moment we do actually have legends tomorrow um covering its place with the whole malice storyline and cw have just announced that they are extending one more day to their schedule so does this actually mean that supergirl could concurrently air with all the other shows if that was the case then one of the TV shows will most likely have to be on a Sunday night. Anyway, guys, let me know about this video down below, what you think about all the questions I've asked down below. And it appears that The Flash Season 5 and Arrow Season 7 have actually been renewed for another season courtesy of discussion film who i'm pretty cool with a uh, pretty cool guy that runs that so very reliable source so it's cool but did anyone actually think they wouldn't be renewed um i just think it's a bit weird that supergirl and legend tomorrow haven't been renewed yet anyway guys please like subscribe and comment as always i love how passionate you super fans are anyway guys join team wars Street down below by hitting that bell button and i will catch you in that comment section like always guys please like subscribe and comment and i will catch you in another video very soon guys catch you later